Hi everyone, this is Adam Meister disrupting the Baltimore political scene from far, far away in Melbourne, Australia, where it's going to be 107 degrees tomorrow. Yes, it really is going to be 107 degrees, 107 degrees tomorrow. Uh, I want to talk about the campaign finance deadline that's coming up. All of the candidates have to report how, how much uh, money they have on hand in their campaign finance accounts. And these last few days, they've been sending out all sorts of emails begging for money. Uh, I'm on Nick Mosby's list. I get emails from him all the time. He's asking for money. Obviously, they all, all the candidates are. And Nick's in a position where he wants to, you know, be in the top one or two or definitely three in the amount of money he has raised. Um, one would be big news. Now, the media makes a huge deal out of this. It is a big deal in the sense that you use the money to inundate foolish, naive, ignorant voters with mailings. And they don't know the difference between anything. They just, whoever they get the most mailings from, they vote for. And there are a lot of people like that. So you're buying name recognition with the money you're raising. Uh, Carl Stokes, all of a sudden, I am on his email list. Um, and I bring up Carl Stokes because in the past, uh, Peter Angelos has through various uh, ways, giving him a lot of money in, in 2011, and then he dropped out of the mayor's race and retained his seat. And the media, although they love to talk about campaign finance, they love to talk about raising money, they never met, when they talk about Carl Stokes as a major candidate, because he's on city council, they consider him one, they don't say what happened the last time. He raised money saying he was running for mayor, then he used it to destroy his... Uh, the people who are running against him from city council. So if, again, he's not going to be in the top three this time, is he going to drop out and then use the, do the same exact thing and is the media not going to pay attention to it? And if he does stay in the race, and because he's not going to win the mayor's race and lose, there's a guy named Robert Stokes who's not even related to him, who was going to run last time. Is he going to run for Carl Stokes' old position and just win because his last name is Stokes? I mean, that would be pathetic in terms of the voters. I mean, Robert Stokes can do whatever the heck he wants to do. That the voters just blindly vote for him because his last name is Stokes, that's just, God, it just speaks volumes. And you know, Carl Stokes is running on a platform basically um, to black people he, he is running on the platform of, I yelled at some like Fox people not to call black people thugs during the Freddie Gray thing, which I guess is a legitimate thing to run on. But then to the white people, he keeps on bringing up the audits and financial accountability. Well, you know what? Dude has been around for so long. I wouldn't bring up, and he's done nothing. I mean, and look how the city's fallen apart in terms of financial accountability. He keeps talking a good game with the financial accountability, but what, what has he done? And if he cares that much about financial accountability and not ego, run for controller then. Okay? You could do a lot more there. I'm Adam Meister. I'll talk to you later.